Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you. So my lovelies, what I'm going to be doing this week is a lot of people have asked me how they work out their moon and rising signs. So there is a couple of links I'm going to drop in the description box below so you can go and find out your moon and rising signs. I'm also going to put out a separate video for moon signs. I'm concentrating on moon signs um, this week. So once you find out your moon and rising signs from this intro, go and check out the video and it just gives you a little bit of in-depth really um, of another side of you, another facet of your star sign because sometimes when I'm doing my weekly readings and you can sit there thinking, mm, well that doesn't really resonate to me. If you check out your moon sign and rising sign, there could be messages in those readings where it sort of uh, resonates a little bit more. So it is key really to find out your moon and rising signs and then that way you're getting you know more out of this channel as well than just clicking on your sun sign and thinking mm, well nothing really resonates there but it could be that your moon sign is influencing more in your chart for that week or vice versa with your rising sign so do check out the links below and then go and watch the video that I'm going to be posting um, from an old book that I found out recently. So with all that said and done, let's get on with the weekly reads. I'm now going to be reading for the lovely star sign of Taurus. So Taurus, I'm not going to be doing the books this week, the book of answers and what have you, because I've done the moon sign additional video for you guys this week. Um, so I'd rather you go and check out that because I feel it will be a bit more informative. So with that said and done, you'll have to excuse me because I'm losing my voice as well. I'll tell you, it's been a week, a week, a week. <laughs> But we sold your on. So Taurus, what's the overall energy for you this week? And we have investigate with the card of Scorpio. Okay, now some of you could have your moon in Scorpio. So that might be key for listening um, on my other video. So do check that out, obviously, if you do find your moon is in Scorpio. It can also mean that you are dealing with a Scorpio energy. Um, Taurus this week, somebody who, is a, who has got Scorpio in their chart, doesn't have to be their sun sign. But it can also um, be giving you a message to say, right, you need to investigate something this week. There's something where you've got to find out some information okay you might not be happy about something and it's also bringing out the scorpio as well taurus as in you may have to take on the scorpio um armor i'm going to say armor with a scorpio be ready to defend be ready to sort of fight your corner or somebody's corner this week so we then have the star sign of Taurus okay your own sign is coming out in your own reading and it's saying cultivate it's coming out with cultivate for you so when you cultivate you're obviously gathering so I feel like you're gathering information you need to find out certain information and this is you having to do this that's why it's portraying the star sign of Taurus saying you've got to do the investigation you've got to do the work you've got to do the digging you've got to do the investigating around something this week let's just have a look what your inner soul inner spirit is feeling this week then Taurus and we have stuck in the mud so this is quite poignant now because the slow progress here, you're dealing with something, if it's not you directly, there's somebody around you who feels they are stuck in a situation, they're stuck um, in moving forward on something, but there is a slow progression. We've got a bird here in this card, and I always look at birds as communication. So you may have to investigate where a letter is, why something's taking so long to come to you. 
and it's this very heavy plodding on kind of energy so you feel like that's you know three steps forward ten steps back scenario for some of you this week okay but there is going to be progression even though you may feel you're struggling or you don't feel like you're moving forward on something there is a slow progress and I do feel communication will come in for you this week Taurus so let's have a look what the universe wants to add on this for you and we have the sacred union partnership and romance so the universe is putting an emphasis on here that this could be investigating about wanting to find out some information about a partner or somebody you may have split up with okay that's not going to resonate for everybody but i have to look at all avenues here and cover all bases so if i was looking at this on a romantic then i would just feel there was somebody who is investigating trying to gather information feeling stuck in a situation uh, where they may have parted company with somebody or somebody's gone off with somebody else so we've got that kind of a scenario for some of you for the general however the sacred union it can mean a reunion of meeting somebody from your past maybe coming in an old friend maybe coming in as well and then it's also saying that there could have been a period where some of you may have been really busy and not being able to spend time with family and what have you and it's just saying the universe is bringing that union in closer together that family bond closer together time for you and time for your loved ones so let's have a look what your animal spirits are coming out with this week then what have we got for your animal spirits i need a bigger desk i've got no <laughs> i haven't got enough room here right let's have a look animal spirits what have we got for taurus And we've got peacock spirit and it's a let it shine okay oh let it shine we've got four and six and that comes to a ten we had eight and two at the start with the scorpio and the taurus card that came to a ten so there's some kind of a completion here and I also got the peacocks as well as legality so there could be some legal things that this is where you might be stuck in the mud on an issue but it's saying that you need to shine really you need to stand your ground this week on a situation okay make people stand up and listen to you I, when i look at the peacock that it comes out with all its tail feathers and it's like it's a showstopper type of scenario and this is why i feel the peacock is coming out for you taurus you need to be that showstopper this week as in getting your point across making somebody listen okay so it's that kind of energy so let's have a look what is coming out in the fairy realms let me just grab those for you we got for Taurus and we've got the fairy of Silu and it's vitality health and energy she's sort of shining in her own right as well so transformation as well because we've got the dragonflies here behind her it's coming out with the message of you can throw some light on a subject this week and it's all about this 
making people take note. People need to take notice of you this week, Taurus. Okay? And whatever the information is that you are waiting on, where you felt as though you was getting nowhere, and as I said, I do feel there's going to be an outcome this week. You are going to have some information come through that is going to put a smile on your face and it is going to give you a good resolution and a good outcome. So, let's just grab the cards from the spiritual realms, your guides and angels. And we have find your place of happiness and peace and don't let anyone pull you out of it. See, we've got shine here as well. There's all this illumination going on around you, Taurus. I do feel that some of you may hear of an engagement or a wedding as well um, within the family or close friends that you may be invited to. And I want to sort of go to aiming towards the end of July, just on the turn of August. Um, I feel some of you may have that kind of information come through to you as well. But there's all the energy that is circling around you is about shine, light on a subject as well for you. And don't let anybody pull you out of this place of happiness. If it's to do with that romantic element that I said at the very start of this reading, where you're gathering information on um, a loved one, trying to find out what's been going on in a relationship, then spirit coming to say, look after you. Follow your own heart. Do what is best for you. Okay, if that means getting back with that person and that is the right energy vibe for you, then do so. If not, then shine for who you truly are and just know that there is somebody else better there out there for you. Got numbers highlighted here in this tree. So some of you could be dealing with financial matters as well, trying to crunch numbers and sort out financial issues around you this week. Let me just get a card from the universe. And we have, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. I look at the artwork on this card, however, Taurus, and it's sort of keep focused, okay? Keep your eye on the ball this week. And also, it can be seeing somebody with a, um, a different perspective. So there could be some information this week where you change your opinion around uh, someone, okay, as well. I'm just going to finish off with one of my cards I've had a new deck this week um, and I'm enjoying working with them. So let's just have a look what's coming at the end of the week to give a heads up for the start of next week for you. I feel like that top one. And it's Ceres, Nurture. Okay. And this is about nurturing yourself. Okay. Nurturing your soul so we've got the card of nurture coming in for you Taurus okay Ceres, Ceres not really sure how you pronounce that word but yeah I feel like there's a peace offering coming in as well for you off somebody if it's not you directly the peace offerings coming from if it's not directly you the peace offerings coming to you then I feel it could be you offering a peace offering to somebody I feel like there's a bouquet of flowers here coming into the mix for some of you this week but it's the end of 
one cycle and the start of another. I want to say the red tape has turned to white tape here. So for some of my Taurians, you've either been dealing with some legalities, you've been dealing with something very involved, okay, maybe to do with other agencies involved, okay, benefit agencies, work agencies, what have you, where you've had to go through this slow process, but it's coming to an end, guys, it's coming to an end, you're seeing the end, the light at the end of the tunnel, and I just see a finalisation here, but because of all this illumination and all this shining, you're going to come out on top, Taurus, you are going to come out on top. So my lovelies, I hope you can get something from that this week. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. And also check on the moon sign video just for the little bit of extra heads up this week. So until next time, you take care of yourself. Bye then.